Hello, pool do-it-yourselfers. This is the Pool Hygiene Doctor, and in today's video, I will explain what to do when closing your above-ground pool. As we've learned about closing an in-ground pool, temperature is the most important factor in determining when to close your pool. While water temperatures in the 60s may be too cold to swim, it is warm enough for algae to grow. So tip number one, make sure your temperature is consistently below 60 degrees before closing. Number two, thoroughly clean and brush your pool. Organic materials like leaves and dirt can stain the bottom of your pool if it's left in over the winter. Number three, balance your chemicals. If your chemicals are in the ideal range, you won't have to add additional shock when you're closing. Number four, drain the water below the skimmer. Return lines are much lower than the skimmers and can be plugged with a winterizing plug. You don't want to drain the water too low because it may cause the liner to shrink or the ground beneath your pool to shift. Number five, disconnect your skimmer and return lines and take out all the relief plugs in your motor. Since most above ground pool systems are portable, it's probably best to store the motor and filter inside once it's been drained. And number six, cover your pool. Use a cable and a winch and fill in the open spots with cover clips to protect it from the ice and wind during the winter months. If you found this information helpful and would like to keep your pool healthy, then drown the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further content. Thanks for listening to The Pool Hygiene Doctor, and I'll see you at the pool.